Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope your finances are doing good. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective reading for you. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Let us see what is the collective message for the Scorpio sign. I'm sorry for the noise. I'm not using my headset. This is a collective collective reading for the Scorpio sign. Let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship, okay? I will upload your love reading, your love message in the exclusive Scorpio Ascending channel. So if you would like to follow me in my exclusive Scorpio channel, please search Scorpio Ascending and follow me there. That channel was built from my love for my, my fellow Scorpio, okay? So for guest viewers, click the bell, click subscribe, okay? Alrighty, let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. What is the message for you? Love, career, money, and general inspiration, please. Oh, look at that. Competition. Oh, money. So, oh, look at that. Five of Wands. Okay, this card wanted to come out. Wow, this is so powerful. So, the first part of the reading, Scorpio, is that we're going to be looking into your overall energy. I will pick up the recent past, your current energies, what's working for you, message from the universe. Why do you have the devil card? And then, I feel so good. I feel so good. I don't know why, Scorpio. I feel so good. I feel like there's a change coming and it's a good change, Scorpio. We're done with the Taurus season. We're now moving to Gemini, which is your eighth. I think eighth is a relationship. Sorry, I can't explain much, but I feel good. Intuitively, you will enjoy the Gemini season. It's more fun. It's more flirty, okay? It's more charming, okay? You will charm your way into job into situation into lovers into people use your charm not your sting okay i'm hearing that strongly i'm really really downloading a lot of intuitive message scorpio in the next two weeks you've got to put your game face three of wands i haven't put all the cards but i'm really downloading a lot okay so let me hurry up i feel like my spiritual journey scorpio i want to overshare um, my spiritual journey, it has really led me to a point where as much as I would like to pull clarifiers, I've got so much intuitive to read in one card. You know, I feel like some tarot readers, in my opinion, it buys time. You know, if you put more clarifier, I think it, you know, it, it made them expand the timing. Anyhow, longer videos. But you know me, I'm straightforward. And when I talk, I feel like I'm chanting. The frequency is my the frequency of my voice is it feels like I'm chanting, you know? And that's probably the reason why I've got a copycat, because that copycat likes my voice. Come to me. I'll teach you how to read tarot. Don't copycat me. Anyway, Scorpio, let's start the reading. You have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is money, okay? I'm really picking up that you're really like, this is my A-game sunshine, okay? You really like, okay, enough. I've done, you know, like enough. The first five months, what did I accomplish? We're step into half year finish. What did you accomplish, Scorpio? Ten of Pentacles, for some of you, you will have a huge realization that, wait a minute, am I aligned to my goal, to my personal goal, to my professional goal, to my spiritual goal, to my partnership goal? Are you? That is a question that you kind of need to answer, Scorpio. That is possibly part of your Taurus New Moon question prompt. Have a review from January to May. Do you feel like you're aligned to where do you want to see yourself this year? Are you in the right projection, trajectory? 
of finance, personal growth, personal development, relationship, okay? Have you acquired more friends or have you filtered out your friends and created a small circle but more powerful, more serious, more genuine, okay? So those are the things that somehow the universe is asking you because the universe is going to open a floodgate of offers, opportunities, and it feels everything is somehow brand new. The reason why I'm saying that, Scorpio, because 10 of pentacles in here, this is what you want, perfect 10. Surely the universe is like, okay, I'll give you a perfect 10. I will blast you with a five of wands. It means that, okay, if you're feeling, if you feel Scorpio, that you have been stuck in the last two to three weeks, if you feel like your growth, that the way you process tasks or your growth, it is slow. Now that is going to be super duper amplified or uplifted because the universe will blast you with a lot of energies, a lot of um, competitiveness that it will push you it will trigger you to come out of your comfort zone because you know why three of wands this is the future you know what you are a scorpio subscribers that have been following me for the last five years and i can feel you in my heart in my soul you you are not meant to be regular at some point we, we slow down that's fine we slow down you know there are some some there are some, you will come to a point in life. For for example, me, I'm coming to a point in my life where in my first three years in YouTube, I was earning this much and this month, but this much, but I was so tired. You'll come to a point as a YouTube, you know, cycle, YouTuber, vlogger, content creator, you'll come to a point where you've got to be smart because how will you earn that money in a lesser video? So you've got to create your a different strategy. You will evolve your your inspiration. It gets mature. Your inspiration it matches your lifestyle, your age, your ambition. So you Scorpio, the universe is now asking you Ten of Pentacles. We've got to get some update. Are you still aligned with what you want and what you're manifesting? Because you could be manifesting something that doesn't really fit your lifestyle. You could be you could be manifest you could be manifesting more, but it doesn't fit your lifestyle. You could be wanting this, but actually, in reality, you're just a, really a simple Scorpio, happy with this one, this one. You know, our dreams and goals are different, but with you, Scorpio, growth is necessary. So. If you feel like the last three weeks, four weeks, your growth, the way you do, the way you do tasks, things, your growth, it has been slow. Well, the universe is now going to give you a lot of five of ones, five of ones. Look at that. The universe is going to give you people invitation. Okay. Situation where it will trigger you to come out of the underground because the universe is like with with the three of wands in here look at this look at this card you know you've got so much to give you know you've got so much to blossom slowly surely you know the universe is going to give you people person situation it is to trigger you to expand it's the trigger for self-growth i'm really picking up a, a variety a variation of people, person, situation that will be presented to you. And those people, person, situation, you will find it challenging or difficult. But that is how the universe is going to somehow, come on, explore this. Because if you explore this, it, it will let you come out of your comfort zone. You know, trans, it will transform you. It will add to your development, to your highest growth. You know, life is not easy. Let's put it that way. You want more? You want the Ten of Pentacles? Then you've got to display the best behavior, the most mature, the most hardworking, resilient. If you want the best, you have to behave the best. You've got to do the hard work, Scorpio. The universe believes that you are more than who you are right now. Or at least there are some things that you promise that you want. So the universe is now going to aid you. The universe is going to send you a five of wands. These are what you call um, angels and triggers. Like 
These are cosmic triggers and angels and information frequencies, information, sign and synchronicity. It could also be people, okay? Um, it will spark you, okay? This offers people, person, situation. It will spark you. It will trigger you to try. Go there. Try. You can do more. Or at least this is what you want, right? So I'm giving you that opportunity. That sparkle. Like it's a reading. Let's put it this way, Scorpio. One of these days, three, seven days from now, I want you to pay attention with something that is a letter B, a letter R, a letter G. It feels like a sparkle. Have you ever felt like when you hear the name or when someone invites you, your eyes sparkle or spark because you are in alignment to get that or to connect with that now it will be a bit challenging a bit competitive by the universe telling you go for it we will support you okay so i'm really seeing like cosmic vibe five cosmic amazing vibe will be sent towards you to oh look at that four of pentacles to get you out of your comfort zone it's time for you to somehow update like it's more of like a half year check in okay this is a half year check in what did you completed january to may we're now going towards june to december 2023 what else or are you in alignment of your new year's, new year's resolution okay the four of pentacles it's time for you to come out of your shell this is april there are some april downloads there are some april plan april goals April self-growth, self-development, shadow work that you said, I'm going to do it, I'm going to be good, I'm going to be that, but not all of that is done in action. So slowly but surely, the universe is telling me to remind you that you've got some goals, spiritual, personal, professional goals, wellness goals. Please update that because the universe wants you to live longer, to be more happier, and to tap into the highest growth. And if you are vibing to your highest growth, then abundance is coming your way. Okay? So this is like a half year check-in to you, my Scorpio, uh, Scorpio family. All right? So that is that. Now, the second part of the reading. Okay, let me just breathe. Let me just drink water. Okay. Now, Scorpio... The second part of the reading is that these are the opportunities, messages, people, person, situation, offers that will be connecting to you in the next 3, 7, 10 days or the remaining days of this month, okay? These are most likely what's going to come what's going to come towards you, okay? You've got the devil card and the page of swords. Oh, okay. It feels like the devil card in here. I'm going to cover the picture because I might be censored again. <laughs> so the devil card in here, along with the page of swords, it looks like this is a person in the past. Someone is jealous. Okay, there is, there is a person who is somehow jealous, angry, or mad, or disappointed. The page of swords. You find, like they want to be with you. They hold the star. Look at that. The star is blue. The color of this person is blue. So they can't live without you. Whoever this person is, they're angry. They're mad. They're angry, upset, or mad, or disappointed, or jealous. Okay? Expect them to connect with you 3, 7, 10 days. They might be angry, mad, or jealous with you. Jealous with something. But they still would like to be with you. They will express to you how they miss you and how disappointed that you were somehow not very engaged or maybe you blocked this person but they will express to you their frustration their disappointment but at the end of the day they just want to be with you yeah they want you to this person wants one thing they want to heal your connection and your relationship okay page of swords the will of fortune you well, you have some, you've got some stinger on with this person. Let's see. You had a two of wands. You've dealt with them in the past. You've dealt with this person last year. Or I really feel, I really hear the word, your world is keeping, like, 
what a small world or like you're too far away like whoever this person is they're not happy that you guys are not together you guys are not talking they will they're very com confrontational what's the two of wands you're not reacting they will message you they will call you they will confront you they will say something emotional but you just look at them like this is you you're looking at the you you look at them as petty or small like you I don't know, I'm kind of picking up the word, you don't have value in my life, do I reply? Something like that, okay? You're very guarded. Your soul doesn't want to talk to this person. Even though you still like them, you still want them, but your soul is telling you that no, it's not healthy. It feels like you need more time. You, know, you, you need more time. You need more healing as you navigate this situation with this person. Okay, I don't think you're going to be rude. I don't think you will... They're quite aggressive, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, they're like, you, Scorpio, I really miss you, but you don't talk to me. You do this, you do that. And you just look at them. You're not reacting. It feels like you need more time to heal or you just want to be on your own and very guarded. Nine of Wands. I'm really picking up like a no reaction from you. And uh, you know, a Scorpio, one thing about Scorpio is that the more you don't the thing with Scorpio vibe is that, this is how I read you, Scorpio, is that you've given them a lot of chance. You know, it's 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 a vibe where you don't have anything to react. You could be healing, okay? Yeah, hang man, I told you guys. All I can pick up is that there is a jealous lover or a friend that's disappointed with you and express something to you. Or maybe a relative, but it's something personal. They will say something criticizing about you but at the end of the day they want to heal you know forget and forgive and continue having a relationship with you somehow i feel like you're not somehow i feel like you're not interested with them i don't think you will react because somehow it feels like with the hangman you would rather say less than to say words that can hurt this person yeah so you're choosing to be the bigger person by saying less or saying nothing at all because if you might sting them you know it's more of like okay you can say whatever you want i'm just gonna keep my mouth shut before i say something not good and i don't want that to come back to me so you're gonna keep it silent you're gonna keep it simple and silent and quiet in short you're not ready for them and you don't want you don't want to hurt them like there's a part of you like you want to tell them something about what they did like there's a part of you that you want to sting and bitter and you're bitter but like no i'd rather be quiet and silent and just let it be you need healing you need a lot of reflecting and healing to deal with this person so good on you i'm so proud of you scorpio because you would rather just keep it distance and quiet than you know saying something that might hurt them because to be honest with you, whoever this person is, you have a stronger personality. And the way I feel, the, the way I feel you manage this person is that I don't want to be mad or angry with you. I'm just going to ignore you because you, you will not like what I said. What will I say to you? You know, okay. Now, the second part of the reading, well, the third, let's see. Hmm. You've got the nine of wands. Okay, this is really very interesting, Scorpio, in your workplace, okay? The Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords. There is something connected to business, okay? There's something connected to business, financial growth, personal growth, or it could be a situation in your office, workplace, but it's something that will expand your professional connection, professional growth, responsibility as well. Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords. Animately, the Knight of you're very guarded. Like, I don't want that responsibility. I don't want that promotion, maybe. I don't want that. But this Knight of Swords, it will bypass your gate. Because this is like, you're guarded. You're guarded with this idea. Like, you don't want this idea. But it will be able to bypass your 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 gate it will be able to go through this offer is an alternative of what you were expecting like there's something of an offer that like i don't want that 
this one is an alternative. So I want you to listen to the proposal of this person or a situation, okay? Um, there's something that you don't like, you're not open to do it, but there is an alternative. So the universe is telling me to advise you that, hey, there's a wild idea, wild card, an alternative. Be open to connecting with this person or situation. Okay? Yeah, you're like, no, listen to it. Like, reread the contract. Like, something tells me, read the contract again, listen to the video, read the book, read it again, listen to it again, because there's an alternative. There's something in the clause or a one-liner statement that you don't like, or there's something about the res responsibility that you don't like. Be open to it. Be a bit flexible, because actually, there's an alternative solution. On an alternative, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm going to come back. Okay, coming back. Sorry, guys. I have to run because I'm cooking our sinigang. I'm cooking our dinner, our sinigang. Now, nine of wands, nine of swords, the universe is telling you be open to it. Okay, be open. You know, connect, connect with this person before you reject it. I feel like there's an alternative. So it's connected to finances. It could be like, I've already said no to this business proposal or a job offer. Offer, you know, there's an alternative. Listen to it. You know, they've got something good to say. Listen to it. You will like it. You will like it. Now, the last reading, whew, the strength card of Queen of Cups. You know, someone really miss you. They're always watching your video. <laughs> You know, someone miss you. Someone is on standby and miss you and always looking you up online, your availability, asking friends, asking family. You know, they're always wishing that you would soften your heart and unblock them. Or like this person, I'm hearing the word, I hope someday you can forgive me. I hope someday you would be able to you and I will be able to see each other eye to eye and we could just, you know, forget and forgive. I feel like it's a lover. It could also be like a relative. But you've got like a lover or a relative. I don't think this person is going to take an action. But the message is that someday you and I will reconcile. We will, and there's no goodbyes. Okay, we will love with no goodbyes. I'm hearing that word so strongly. Someday we will talk and we will hug and we will kiss and we will make up and we will have a relationship that has no goodbyes. Wow, okay. So someone is manifesting you. Right now it looks like it's not ready, but someone is manifesting you. They've got a special ring or they've got a tattoo, a special ring, a tattoo, um... They've got braces. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, it could be a long distance person. Let's look at this person. They could be long distance, far away from you. It could be in your place. It's day. Like there's a you know, um, like a time difference. Time zone is different. Ten of Cups. You will reconcile with this person. You will still have a chance to reconcile with this person. Right now, right now, they're not ready to talk. They're manifesting you. But the feelings, like the ego, is starting to melt. The ego is softening, you know. Whoever this person is, it could be a friend, could be a relative, it could be a lover. But the ego, whatever blocks between the two of you to reconcile, it's melting. It's softened. Okay, the feelings of I miss you, I want to be with you, it's softening the ego. So I'm still seeing you reconcile around probably October. It's quite far, far from now. But once you reconcile, there's no goodbye. There's no goodbye. So this is what I have for you, beautiful Scorpio. Thank you so much, so much for private reading for the merchandise. Everything is processed in the website. Please don't forget to follow me. Um, with my other channel, Scorpio Ascending, and um, the other personal channel will, where I do a lot of shorts video. Just interact with me there if you're interested. And I'll do your love reading 
um, very soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.